All right, I've done a very rough estimate on the cost of the various parts of this machine. And uh, my finding basically, and again, this is an estimate, I do a lot of work with similar parts. And my estimate is that this machine costs about $964 in parts and labor to build. And I'll break it down here by section. <clears throat> These end covers and the front, <clears throat> uh, cover here that uh, probably about 60 62 dollars that's you know the hinge hardware and <clears throat> honestly these side plates have quite a bit of machining that have to happen and they've got fan covers and they've got little magnetic attach latches on them so i think i think that that's probably close uh, that's probably the area i'm the least confident on because all of the uh, polycarbonate stuff that i've worked with has been folded so I have heat forming on it, and this is not heat formed, so it's just kind of raw stock that's laser cut. Um, <clears throat> so about 62 bucks there. Uh, for the entire gantry here and the actual mechanical portion of it, uh, I'm estimating this costs about $400, $404. It also includes the spindle because I couldn't detach the actual spindle body there. Uh, and basically what I did there is I just I estimate that that's about 35 pounds of aluminum. Aluminum's 25 cents or so per cubic inch. Uh, and then this cost also includes all of the machining. Uh, and I think I used a $60 per hour of machining time. And I estimated that the this takes about, I think it was four, I think it was about four hours. Uh, these parts are all actually pretty simple. Uh, they're all cut in uh, you know just a couple of operations. Uh, the front, piece is uh, the most elaborate piece by far. Uh, this piece probably takes quite a bit of time to machine. Um, but anyway, all the other parts are pretty simple. There's that last foot I couldn't find. I had it hiding out under there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, about $404 was my estimate on that. Uh, the stainless steel, stainless steel is expensive. There's really no way around it, but it's also pretty volatile uh, in its working cost. Not because the price is changing, but just depending on who your supplier is, uh, stainless steel can, can get expensive. Uh, I, I think this is actually a, a low number, uh, and I have it being $167 for the 30 plus, uh, what was it, 29 pounds? 29 pounds of stainless steel in here with the simple forming. None of these parts are particularly complicated, uh, but they are, uh, formed except for the bottom piece. So about $167. It does include the e-stop button just because I have it in that pile and it's, the e-stop button is probably a couple bucks with the wiring. Uh, so $167 there. And uh, then I have basically everything else here. So the power supply, the electronics, the, uh, the actual uh, tiny G board here is probably about $80 of that $219 cost. Uh, includes the three steppers. Steppers are pretty cheap. Those steppers with the uh, the threads come out and they're probably seven, maybe eight dollars in quantity. Uh, the last two items are the packaging, uh, but my packaging label fell off. But uh, sorry, it was there before, I, I, I swear. Uh, I basically said assembly uh, box and foam and all just the intro stuff. I put that at about 15 bucks, uh, you know, Boxes are not that expensive, and, and, and this box has a two-color overlay print on it, but the box that it shipped in uh, was, was nothing. I mean, you saw it. Uh, there was a pallet, but I didn't actually receive it, so they're obviously having to pay for a wood pallet. That probably pumps the, the cost maybe up to like 25 bucks with what wood costs right now. Uh, and then the last item here is just the labor, and uh, that's... That's kind of an assumption that this machine, of course, we've already built all the labor into manufacturing these parts, but not assembling it. All the labor is built into manufacturing those parts, but not actually assembling them to the enclosure. And then, of course, these are probably just a, a sheet metal manufacturer, so their cost of labor is already built in as well. So it's really only the labor to assemble all of these aluminum parts here and then uh, assemble all of this junk to it and then put those on, put that, drop it in a box. And I, I estimated that's about $100 in labor. And so again, the final price there was, uh, I have it here on a spreadsheet, uh, $965 
was the material cost. Now, of course, Bantam is spooling up this product, so probably some of these costs are a little bit higher, particularly the labor, uh, just because when you're starting a new production line, things can, things can take a lot longer. But really, this machine shouldn't take more than about four hours to assemble uh, once you've manufactured all of the individual pieces. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it. You know, this is a $4,000 machine and, uh, you know, it's about a thousand dollars in, in material. So a standard 4X markup, it's a healthy margin, but it's not, it's not outrageous. Uh, you know, 4X is a very standard number in industry. So yeah, no, I have no complaints there. I don't think that they're, uh, 4X markup is absurd. I do think that the $404 in material cost here could be spent quite a bit better. Uh, there's a lot of aluminum in here that's adding rigidity, but then there's a lot of lack of rigidity. We talked about that earlier. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole again, but uh, yeah, this material could be used a lot more efficiently. Uh, so it would still cost $400, but it would be a more rigid machine. Uh, yeah, anywho. That's it on the pricing of the hardware. Uh, of course, there's a lot of software development cost, uh, but certainly not in the firmware. As we saw before, the PCB is, the firmware is all already written. 